It's go all going south and how for Australia and Michael Clark. Bundled out for just 60 in 18.3 overs after being put into bat by England. England winning the toss at Trent Bridge, Nottingham, the fourth Ashes Test, up leading the series 2-1 at this point. This is Australia's seventh lowest score in Test cricket. 0 0 6 0 1 2 1 4 9 that's the score of nine of the 11 Australian batsmen. Two of them reached double figures with Michael Clark getting 10 and Mitchell Johnson getting 13. It's the extras which are the highest scorer at 14. But what a phenomenal performance at his home ground by Stuart Broad, not only becoming the fifth English bowler to reach 300 test wickets in 151 tests, but he returned phenomenal figures of 9.3 overs, eight for 15 runs. The English polishing off the Australians in less than 19 overs after putting them into bat. That has been the performance by the England bowlers led by Stuart Broad. But major embarrassment for Michael Clark, who's already under the pump, not just because of the form, but also the way the team is playing. He talked up Australia's chances, saying they'd put in the hard yards and they would come out all guns blazing. But how they have blazed, they've just frittered away. Not even a spark in the entire Australian batting lineup for uh, anybody to witness. Wicket number four, Sean Marsh, caught Bell, bowled Blood. One after the other, none of the Australian batsmen measuring up to the skill and the ability of the English bowlers, particularly Stuart Broad, who also accounted for Adam Voges. That was wicket number five, Adam Voges caught Stokes, bowled Broad. Then Stuart brought in action again. Alistair Cook doing all the work to send the Australian captain back into the pavilion. Phil Neville was the next clean bowled by, by Finn, who had to play just a cover up in terms of polishing off what was left behind by Stuart Broad. Eight of those wickets accounted by Stuart Broad, who also then got in to action to scalp Mitchell Stark. Now, if anybody who can uh, help the Australians come back are these two, Mitchell Stark and Mitchell Johnson, because they would have seen what this pitch can do and what the English bowlers were able to do, especially Stuart Broad, who also accounted for Mitchell Johnson, caught by Joe Root. And then Nathan Lyon trying to take the attack to the opposition, but then once again falling to slips, which extended the entire slip corner, extending all the way up to Gully. And uh, Ben Stokes doing the job with Stuart Broad scalping his eighth. A phenomenal turnaround uh, by the English cricket team who are already up 2-1 in the series now looking to not just uh, retain the ashes but also to embarrass Australia. Michael Clark will clearly have to answer some very tough questions and his position as captain highly untenable at this point.